let me go ahead and wrap this up because I'm really tired. It's like 3.30 in the morning. All right, so I just finished uh, rinsing, conditioning my hair with my protein conditioner. If I showed you it, it is the, the Kai, what is this? Technician Color Care 3 Minute Mask. Okay. Um, yes, this is intended for color treated naturals, but my hair loves the stuff and it has protein in it, which is a plus. Um, so, yeah, I spent the last hour or so, hour or more, detangling my hair, which was tedious, but it was actually a pretty smooth process. Um, I had a kinky twist in for a whole month. So that equates to a lot of shed of hair, a lot of shed of hair for me, and my hair equates to a lot of temples, so that's why it took so long. Um, but it was worth it in the end because I'm glad that my progress didn't go to waste from me ripping through my hair and ripping out the half an inch that I grew in a month, so yeah. Alright, so back to the Vicks Night Clay. Um, the treatment was actually really, really nice. My hair loved it. My hair, this is something I definitely needed. Right off the bat, just looking at my hair, I can't tell a noticeable difference. Um, it is supposed to increase shine and, you know, enhance curl definition and whatnot. I ain't noticed all, none of that. But I will say, I noticed that my hair did feel a lot softer. Um, after the bits not clay, after conditioning, I don't know, maybe a mixture of the two created this whole softness effect. I don't know. But my hair feels great. Um, and I really feel that my hair felt different. My hair has never really felt that way. Clarified, I guess is what you would, would call it. So that was something that my hair definitely needed, being that I've never clarified my hair before. So. Uh, I highly recommend that you try out the Mints Night Clay if you get a chance to, if you get the opportunity to, you know, try it out. Is it necessary? I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but it is a really nice treatment to try out. I think that for me and my regimen, my routine, I'm probably going to do the Mints Night Clay maybe twice a year. Um, it's going to be one of those pampering my natural hair day type things which only comes once in a blue moon because I am someone who likes to shampoo I always shampoo my hair so um, you know I don't really need to clarify my hair as much as somebody who say might say co-wash or use non sulfate shampoos and things of that sort so yeah that's it I will say the application was a bit messy um, Probably due to my being, you know, going haphazardly about it, I could have done it in sections. Uh, maybe, you know, studying a bit more about the amounts of each ingredient in the formulation. Um, but overall, the process was great. I will say, do not massage the bentonite clay treatment into your scalp because it is really, really hard to get out. Uh, I actually have some feel in my scalp like a, a tiny bit and I tried to rinse it out like with water in my kitchen sink with a little hand sprayer thingy and just try to massage it out it would not come out so I'm just like whatever it will come out whenever if it, I have dandruff so what so be it um so yeah definitely stick to just the hair not the scalp all right I'm really tired let me let me get out of here all right so thank you guys for watching be blessed and I'll see you all in the next video Bye.